Hey guys, it's Drew with Huge Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how do you build your box. Why is it important that you focus on a certain series or certain uh, coins that you really like? And how does that benefit you in the long run? We're gonna talk about that in this video. So when we refer to a coin box, what we're talking about is just a group of coins that you have spent a lot of time finding, researching, buying at a good price, and then putting them in your collection. And some people say, I'm only gonna have 20 coins. Some people say, I'm going to collect this certain series, or um, I'm gonna only collect a Morgan Dollar series to begin with. It's something of a sort of parameter so that what you can do in that series is become an expert. Um, you know, what mint has a weaker strike for Morgan Dollars? Uh, what does a 65 look like? What does a 62 look like? Um, what coins do I want to reflect in my collection? Do I want to add them to the registry? All these things will really make you an expert on a certain series. And so sometimes when people walk into the space, the coin space, they say, I'm gonna buy every coin that I like, that I think is nice and toned and this and that, right? And then they really don't become experts in the space. Um, and experts really start off by honing in their knowledge on one series or something that really like to collect. And then what you could do after that, when you, once you master something like that, you can move it on to other series, right? It's almost like uh, going to the gym every single day or going to the gym four times a week. After a while, it's just routine and it's something that you can start to get really good at. And so what I would say to you guys is that if you're wanting to start collecting, focus on a series that you really like that inspires you maybe by the, the point in history or the design or it's just something that you collected with maybe your grandfather or father or, or other family members. And so, you know, I think that what, what, we, uh, what we started doing in the beginning is we started liking Morgan dollars. We liked the design of them, everybody does. And over time, we really had an appreciation for the hobby. We had a real appreciation for the way that the people made these coins and we really wanted to stick with it. You have to love coins if you want to be in the coin hobby. And so find a series you love, make a coin box because at the end of the day, you'll be able to take all the skills you learned from a certain series that you collect and move on to other ones until you master them all. But found a lot of cool coins uh, today. We went out shopping and we wanna show them to you. If you guys wanna pick up a few coins from us, we have 200 listings on our website, acousticcollectibles.com. Maybe you're starting a morning dollar series, half dollar series, uh, maybe some walkers. Uh, we got all that you need. And if you need to reach out to me personally, 832-538-4122. That's my personal cell phone number if you ever have any questions. But let me show you guys these new purchases. All right, we got two trays laid out here of the new purchases that we got. Some pretty decent stuff that we got in here. Starting off with this 1919D Walker. It's a, a better date for sure. Mostly original. And uh, yeah, an expensive one in mint state, but definitely something that's affordable in VF. We have this 1897 Morgan Dollar. When we're buying Morgan Dollars lately, they have to be white. This one was pretty flashy. has a little scuss on the holder. Bought it back at Gray Sheet and priced it at Gray Sheet, so you gotta get the coins to the right price and they have to have the right look. We have this ADS Morgan Dollar in Mint State 66. Has a nice little, uh, you know, gemmy luster to it. A few toning spots on the cheek and in the fields there. A lot more luster on the reverse than on the obverse, but definitely a nice coin. And we have this Proof 42 Walker. It's graded a while ago. It's got a little haste to the coin, but offered at a good price. Most of the time when I want to buy walkers, I need a little bit more of a cameo look, unless it was offered for, to me at a good price, so just passing on the savings there. We have two more warnings to show you guys. Once again, going back to the blast white luster of the coin. Definitely a better date here. Um, not like super expensive, but you know, you're paying for like almost what a Mint State 64 Morgan is for a Mint State 63 Morgan, so some people might need that for their date set, so I wanted to buy that one. We have this 2021 Denver Morgan Dollar in Mint State 68 by Andrew C. Uh, it's got a little issues, I think, on uh, the cheek of the coin. It has a few kind of milk spots or something, and a little bit of a soft hit right there. That might just that's probably from the minting process, or someone dropped it on the ground before they sent it in, and so it is what it is. But definitely a nice coin. I'm gonna stop you guys right there on the new purchases and talk and add a little bit more into this conversation. If you guys want to talk about it down in the description below, let me know what you think. What are you guys collecting? But also, at the same time, what I think that goes wrong with coin collectors is that maybe it's just too big of a wide of, of reach of what they wanna collect and start buying. 
And it's the same thing with dealers. Uh, people that are vest pocket or really getting into the space, they go into a room and they're like, everybody's my friend, everybody wants to sell me great coins at a great price, and I'm gonna have a million customers. And then what you realize after spending 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, some people walk in with a million dollars um, and they've never sold a coin to somebody else. That could be very scary. So there's also, uh, you know, not only a coin collector implication to not being a specialist or learning about coins and then applying it to other coin series, but there also is a bigger implication for people that are coin dealers because um, they're putting a lot of their hard-earned money on the line, just like collectors are, but um, it's just two different types of groups. Have you guys seen this before at coin shows? Um, I really like to know your guys' thoughts below and uh, make sure you like this video. Let's continue. We have uh, six more coins to show you here. This is a 1921 Morgan dollar. Once again, if you're gonna buy a common Morgan, you wanna buy it when it looks a little bit flashy, has nice luster to it. Someone can pick it up at their home when they buy it and say, wow, nice coin. And it was affordable also. We have this 57 Franklin. It may look really nice in this video, but I think it does have PVC and has some kind of haze to the coin. And so it's just something that uh, we priced at our costs and wanted to sell to you guys. I think you're paying like 11 or $12 for one that's raw. That's a coal. This one's mint state and it's $30. So it's kind of just uh, splitting hairs there. So this is a special proof, 2016 W Mercury Dime. And it's, it's great, it's special proof 70. It's got some weird pedigree to it that really doesn't matter a whole lot. It's a first strike and uh, I don't know, I like picking these up because people like the, the Mercury Dime design and so it's just something for them else to buy. We have this 1893 CC. It's a little cleaned up as you can see, but it is a key date and uh, it is affordable and so these normally sell really good for us. Someone just needs a nice whole fill like that one for their collection. Two Washington Quarters that are better dates. Uh, what I would recommend to people that buy these to sell them to other people, 40s, 50s, 60s, they're all really common, but most of the time 30s are a little bit tougher to get. You know, 32S, 32D, 38P, 35, all those ones, they're good up there in cost, and so we try to buy coins here that uh, you know, just has some good luster to it. And if you guys hear my dog in the background, I am sorry. But got these really nice coins here, kushacollectibles.com. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the discussion that we had today. And if you guys want to subscribe and you don't know how to subscribe, we have a video down in the description below. So you can subscribe to the channel. Get us closer to 5,000 subscribers. Once you're a subscriber, you can watch and see when our videos come out. We got them coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we'll see you guys in the next video.